There's no denying the tragedy of young life lost. But sometimes living with the scars of a crash can be almost as bad. I always, I've always wanted to be driving, I've always loved cars and when I got my own car then I wanted to, to do it up, I wanted it to have the alloy wheels and the, the body kit and to look really nice but that's when I was that age of 17 where you want, everyone wants their car to be like that. I remember setting off in the morning, I remember leaving Illapool and I remember about up until about five miles out of Illapool and the accident was seven miles out. But I believe that I went round the corner and obviously I swerved for something. But because I was going far too fast, I couldn't hold the van on the road and I hit the crash barrier which threw me back out onto the road and the van rolled two, maybe three times and ended up on its roof. My injuries were I had three fractures to my skull. I've now got metal plates in my forehead. I'm blind in my right eye and certain hormonal damage which I have to take five pills a day for. I have to get an injection off the nurse every three weeks and I also have to inject myself every night before I go to my bed. I thought I was invincible. I thought, 17, I've got my license. I thought, I'll drive as fast as I can. Yeah, people have car crashes, but I thought it was never going to happen to me. Before the accident, I was, I was stick thin and I was a keen footballer, I was desperate to be a policeman and now because of the accident it's just it's just put my life all to pot really. I I can't join the police now because I'm blind in my right eye. I put on so much weight because of the car crash and I'm really at a point where I I just don't know what to do.